the serpent tell you when you spoke? Kinda sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. I can't feel anything. Just like the other one. She took it, soul. There's not much more we can do. Hold this. What are you... You didn't have a least favorite giant, did you? What? Never mind. This one. No. You can't. Your mother said I'd know what to do with these. Yes, eventually. I just gave them to you. I know. But... They can't hide forever. Right? And we can't just leave it here to die. I actually don't know how to do this part. Okay. Together, then? That's it? Where's it going? That even work? I don't know. Jormungandr! A welcome sight! But he didn't follow us from Midgard! Curious! He'll keep Thor busy at least! There goes the Alphine reinforcements! Looks like the giant giants made it after all. Snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, lit. The Ain Heryar's link. There are still signs of the World Serpent all over the lake. But we saw him disappear at Ragnarok. That could only mean the legend was true all along. That blow from Thor sent Jormungandr straight back in time. A younger Jormi, fresh from Jotunheim, would grow into the serpent we know. When we first met the snake, you said that he found a trace familiar. Perhaps they met in Jotunheim. Perhaps so, brother. We'll have to ask the lad for that story when we next see him. <laughs> 